Okay, so STR Jiren's Extreme Z Awakening details just dropped a few hours ago, and there has been a lot of, I'll say mixed reactions to it, but honestly, it's been mostly negative. So uh, in this video, we're gonna find out if all of that negativity is actually warranted. So without further ado, let's jump right into it, and we'll start with the pre-EZ8 details just for comparison purposes. So popping over to the Dokkan Wiki, this is Jiren without the Extreme Z Awakening. His leader skill is Universe Survival Saga, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 150%, or STR Types Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. Super Attack, Immense Damage, and Greatly Lowers Defense. And his passive Attack and Defense plus 130% and Medium Chance to stun all enemies at the start of turn, performs a critical hit on stunned enemies. So obviously, um, very old card and uh, you know very basic passive, but uh, he was a solid option for Super Bad Road at the very least, right? So that was Jiren pre easy 8 Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, you would think because they made us wait for so long and because he is, you know, at least like one of the main antagonists of Dragon Ball Super that they would, you know, go all out with him, right? Give him a lot of things. But as it turns out, uh, that was not quite the case. Now, I haven't had too much time to process this, so I don't think I have like a firm opinion on what the EZA is actually going to look like. But I think it's pretty clear at first glance that it's not, it's not great. Anyways, let's get into it. Leader skill. Universe Survival Saga, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%. By the way, this was from the Dokkan Wiki Twitter page. For some reason, they didn't have the actual EZA details on the website, but they posted it on Twitter. So uh, anyways, 170% for Universe Survival Saga or STR types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. I do like the you know, greatly increasing of attack and defense, but um, it's not really enough to make up for this passive, which is key plus two, attack and defense plus 200%, and medium chance to stun all enemies at the start of turn. Um, why is it still medium chance? Not really sure, could have been better, could have been high chance, but anyways, it's medium chance still, that hasn't changed. Attacks effective against all types when facing only one enemy reduces damage received by 30% when facing two or more enemies, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50%, and high chance of stunning the enemy when performing a super attack, performs a critical hit on stun enemies, plus an additional attack and defense plus 111%, and performs a critical hit when there is a universe survival saga or tournament participants category enemy. So at first glance, they're like, okay, he's got some decent boosts, you know, 200%, 111% attack and defense, 30% damage reduction, you know, um, uh, critical hits on stun enemies, all that stuff is great. But then if you just think about it for a second, you're like, he's quite limited isn't he, right? I mean, he's really mainly going to be used for, like, Universe Survival Saga or, like, I mean, basically, like, specific Super Battle Road stages. Otherwise, I mean, against, like, single target, he doesn't get the damage reduction, which is, like, most events in the game, you're only facing one enemy, so no damage reduction there. And then against multi-target, um, you're not getting the attacks effective, but you are getting the critical on stun enemies, but then if you're not facing Universe Survival Saga or Tournament Participants, then you're also missing out on a huge chunk of that boost. You're not getting the 111% if you're not facing those category enemies, right? So it just feels like his passive is a little bit all over the place and he's not like gonna be amazing on any events outside of, or not even amazing, he's just not gonna be like that good not that impressive on any event outside of a few super battle road stages right and they're gonna be like older stages too so i don't know man um i'm not sure what they were thinking 
when they uh, designed this unit, when they designed this EZA. Like I said, it's Jiren, so I was expecting a lot. Um, it's also a very old unit. I mean, he was released in 2018. That was over five years ago at this point. Hold on, which month did he drop in 2018? Uh, oh, exactly. Okay, so exactly five years ago for Global, and then obviously more than five years ago for JP. So, you know, making us wait that long, you would think they would uh, do more with him, but uh, they did not. <laughs> they did not, and I think he's just going to be one of those EZAs that's just forgotten about very, very quickly. Um, and that's a shame, because Jiren needs more usable cards in this game. I mean, at this point, LR Jiren is like, you know, kind of pretty outdated too, so um, hopefully his EZA is really good, but uh, STR Jiren is not it. This, this was not it and uh it makes me kind of sad so let me know in the comments what you guys think about this eza like i said i think he's um pretty pretty mid um if we're being generous and uh <clears throat> if you guys have any different opinions if you have a case for him being a good extreme z awakening then definitely i want to hear about that in the comments um but otherwise that's all i gotta say thank you guys so much for watching as always if you like today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.